I am back to a blank page in my art journal. I have been traveling around the United States as part of my emergence program. I'm here in Colorado and I went to San Diego and Joshua Tree and I saw friends and I went to the desert and it was amazing. Great trip. But I don't want to live in Southern California. It's very congested and I lived there for so many long years. Like I was there for like 30 plus years. A place that I'd been really interested in was North Carolina, which is on the East Coast. I flew into Raleigh and drove and stayed in a yurt and they explored the Appalachian Ridge. And I flew out of South Carolina, Greenville, which I didn't like at all. So now here I am in Colorado making the best and expanding my prayer to do so while I'm here. And the next place I'm going to go is Oregon. I've been to Portland. I've explored the coast. I've been to Crater Lake. But I'm going to check out Medford and Asheville and just explore this area. It's been hot there, like 100 plus, and there's a lot of fires. And it makes me think of natural disasters by region. And so why am I doing all this traveling? Because I'm looking for my next home base. I'm renting and I would love to buy. And so I am encouraging myself to dream big and to allow for miracles and to have an adventure exploring and enjoying the journey. Not being too attached to the end result, but knowing I've got to take steps. I've got to get pre-approved. I got to save the money. I have to get a real estate agent. I have to look at the houses. I have to do the things and the stuff to find my home. And as I age and I get older, I want a home that's safe and clean and on one level and is close to nature and is in a community of people that I'm inspired by. There's artists, there's healthcare, there's good grocery. This might be my last big move. This is where I age into my elder years. So I want to create a page that helps me collage a vision board kind of vibe for the house that I want to create. And one of the first images that popped up for me that I love is this image. I absolutely love being next to a river. If I had to choose between ocean, river, or lake, river's number one, lake is number two, ocean is number three. So I love that this image is next to a river and it has an outdoor space. That's something that's really important to me, a space that I can be outdoors. My current home has some restrictions in that regard in several directions. So I'm going to create this page and see what wants to come through. I want something like this. Oftentimes when I dream, I feel like it's too big or it's too impossible. So by gluing this down, I'm claiming I do want this. I only have so many years left to live and I'd really like to manifest this dreamy kind of home space for my elder years. Oh my goodness, yes. I was going through a magazine that I found for free at 
a visitor center. I like to stop into visitor center and get their free materials. They're great for collage. And on the one page has these pictures of mountains. It says where art meets adventure. And I love that. I do want to be in a place where it's an artist community vibe. And even though I am getting older, I do want to still have my level of adventure available. And I also found this image of this community, this mountain town, which I appreciate. I like the mountain town vibe. And so I don't want to live all the way out in the boonies all by myself. I want to have access to community. I want to have access to grocery stores and galleries and health care. When I was younger, I wanted to live out in the boonies and have this big acreage of land. But now that I'm getting older, that's just more and more out of reach. And I found this it says community. I love that. And so I printed out the things that are important to me in a town. And I want good grocery shopping. I want good health care. I want an artsy urban area. And I want amazing nature. Like Those are important to me. And it's fun to have them printed out here and put them as little mountains. Little mountains, little mountains. All right. Having an artsy urban area. I love that about Santa Fe. Santa Fe has a really lovely artsy urban area, but I don't particularly like the nature that's around the town. Having really good grocery shopping is available. There's a mountain town here in Colorado called Conifer. It's really small, but they have a Sprouts. They have a King Supers <laughs> and good health care. My aging body is in need of both Eastern and Western remedies. And being in a, a community. Boom, boom, boom. I enjoy cutting words and letters out of magazines and using that in my art journal. It's just a quick and easy way to get a storyline created. Yay! Brr, boom, 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 boom. I found this starry sky and it made me realize that I want to be able to see the stars. Wherever I move to next, I want to be able to see the stars. I live in so much light pollution and I live so close to a freeway that it's just night times outside are not satisfactory. So in my new house, I want to be able to see the stars. So I'm going to glue this baby down. When I was in North Carolina, that was something that I became so very aware of is that all of the tree cover there made the cosmos so out of reach for me to connect with on a daily basis. I want to be able to see the sunrise and the sunset. I want to be able to see the stars because ultimately I am in an aging body that's going to die soon and the stars are part of my family, my star family. And as I get older, which this image is great for, I'm getting, there's the youth and then there's the aging and then there's kind of these blood splatters. There's this darkness because aging <sighs> can be intense. Oh, it's funny, and it's right next to where it says good health care. I still want adventure as I age, but I want a home that can hold me while I'm alive, 
and allow me to see the stars that I can speak to the light source of which I'll be returning in a community that can hold me through that process and a land that can nurture me through that process. So I like the story that's coming alive with this. So I'm going to glue this down and see what happens next. All right. That was unexpected. But look at this. I have daylight. I have starshine. I have my aging self moving into the dark mystery while I'm held in the mountains. So now let's see what wants to come through over here. I am a collector of scraps. <laughs> I, I save scraps. If it is a cool color, if it's a interesting cut, I save scraps. And this is just a very simple scrap right over here. A dark color and a light color. And I have this amazing cutout. It's like, I don't wanna be solo all by myself out in the middle of the world. I wanna have my own sacred place. And I do wanna have like elders. I want a shamanic community base. I want, I want a continuity of who I am and what I'm growing to be alive and planted and rooted in the world. Yes, there's this urban landscape, but I also want a, a eco soul rich community as well as a ground for me. So I like this. It really ties in that. That's beautiful. I found this lovely image. It's very whimsical. So yes, there's these practical things that I want in the town. And there's this home and this nature base. But I want magic. And I also have these images that represent spring and summer. Autumn and winter. I do want to live in the seasons. I do want to live in the seasons. Another thing that I like is I don't want to focus so much on where I'm going when I die and the stars are a part of my star family, but I'm also a sun side and I want to have light and joy and creativity as part of my life as well. So I'm going to add the sun into the cosmos, calling in all the relatives here. So here's a scrap that I have. I'm just gonna make some rolling mountain tears in it. I love that it gives it that white edge. And then I can just use that little scrap over here to hide some of that space. So I am going to create this mountain line which isn't so much snow capped, but more rolling fields. I like varied terrain. I like mountainscapes and prairie lands and desert. I like varied terrain. So it's nice to add that in and use up some of my scraps along the way. Now, I'm going to work with some words that I printed up. I created a list of things that I dream about having in a home. And I am going to put these intentions on this page. Like this says, three bedroom, two bath. at least 1200 square feet. I live in my home, I work out of my home, my art studio is in my home, so I definitely want some space. And I do have a truck and camping gear and kayak and all of that stuff, so I would like to also have a garage. Yay! <laughs> And I love this message. Make your dream a reality. 
as I was putting this list together, this feels like a really big list and I doubt that I'll be able to get it. The housing market is so challenging. I have so many no's that come up when I try to dream. So I want to think in a positive light that my dreams can become a reality. And one of those dreams is I want a yard space that I can be naked in. And I would like to have an outdoor electrical socket so that I can have a jacuzzi. My current home does not have the ability to have a jacuzzi and I want one of those so I can look at said stars. Yes! I do want a ranch style home with everything on one floor. Now that I am getting older, stairs are more difficult. Other parts of my dream is for it to be safe, secure, and clean. I would like to not be on a busy road and I would like amazing neighbors. And another thing is I want to have a kitchen separate from the front room. I'm not a big fan of that open floor living. When I walk into the house, I don't want to see the kitchen. I want it to be more of a ritualistic temple space. So I'm going to glue these babies down. Let's start manifesting. Let's start manifesting. All right. So I got those glued down and as I glued them, I felt into the prayer. This isn't too big of an ask. And like, how can I use this to give back and how can this community feed me and so there's kind of some reciprocity here that I want to cultivate as well oh my goodness I'm loving this page yay all right I did say I was a collector of scraps I have this little container and I hold little scraps. So these are little hearts that I've collected from various art projects. And I think I'm going to put some hearts in these little huts over here for my eco soul community. I also want it to be heart centric and loving and kind and yay. So I got these hearts. And it was interesting as I was going through this process. Earlier I shared how sometimes I have a lot of no's that greet me when I'm dreaming. Sometimes I feel like my dreams are too big or unattainable. And I saw that show up even as I was putting these hearts on these little houses. I was saying to myself, gosh, it's kind of a lofty dream to think that each one of these houses, each one of these representative locations of people are all heart centric. That's kind of foolish to think, Raven. Maybe you should leave some of the houses without hearts to represent a bit more of a more acuity in the reality. Because you know, not all people are loving and kind. There are a lot of people that are hurt and wounded and jaded and angry and sad. So I had to talk myself through this and say, but this is my eco soul community. Yes, there might be a lot of angry and sad and hurt here. And yes, there might even be some of that down here. But the very essence of this eco soul community is people who have done their work and are doing their work. And even though there might be differences and there might be agitations in some of those human relationships, there's still the heart-centric core. There's still kindness and respect that's available. So I had to really talk myself into just something so simple as putting a heart in every single one of these houses. So I'm curious, when you look at your dreams, what no's, what obstacles, what blockages come through and try to minimize that dream? This may not manifest in actuality, 
There might only be two hearts in actuality, but the dream of it being bigger, that dream cultivates and lays down a pathway for more love and kindness being realized. At least that's the story I tell myself. All right. I think this is a good stopping point for this page. I am actually getting ready to travel to Oregon to explore it and see if it's someplace I would want to move. And I'm going to take this art journaling page with me and allow that experience to inform me of what I might want to add to this page. I really love that I've started to get some acuity on my dreams, on my wishes, on my desires for my home space. And I also know that if I want to buy a home and have that space for my elder years, I'm probably going to need to leave Colorado. So my next trip is taking me to Oregon and I'm going to take this with me and see how Oregon informs this page's evolution. Yay!